the most magical stuff going on in the kitchen right now. We've got the grilled cheesery, and yeah. she's topping these incredible milkshakes made with red velvet cupcakes. And I'm trying to do the. You were trying the, to do a boomerang. I'm trying to do the things and the socials, and it's it's like I'm falling downstairs. It's okay. It's what's Wednesday, right now. and Wednesday sometimes social media doesn't work on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are made. <laughs> For I'm the struggle. Quick. I'm just here to help I'm you. I'm a struggle trying. bus. And if you are too, uh, hop <laughs> on. We got plenty of seats in the back. Let's go for a ain't, ride. Ain't. Get, Get in. It. Here we are. We're happy you're aboard. You're looking very ma Valentine's Eve today. Thank you. Thank you. It's very pink. Yeah, I we feel it. Yeah, we're a couple days away. Yeah. So probably should figure that one out, right? You know what? I said this yesterday, and a lot of folks probably agree. They just say, forget it. I would rather stay home and hang out with my pet. <laughs> You're not, you are not alone in that. Hang with the pet day. Maybe that should be another way to call Valentine's Day. So there's a pet company called True Panion, and they did do a survey, and 27% <laughs> of respondents said, Yes, I just want to spend a night with my pet. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need to hit the town with friends. No. Uh, so anyway, that that made me think. Uh, that made you think of a song. Made me think of my cat. Well, and I couldn't remember who it was by. Um, this is just a sign that I'm old and I've been around a long time. But it was my buddy Sonny Burgess. Sonny Burgess had a song that perfectly sums it up. Take a listen. So I took the chain from around his neck and put a beware sign. Dog. Oh, I just love looking at that old video. That's Isn't that great? fun. That's great. He's on tour. He's a, a Texas artist. He's down in Texas right now. I just looked him up. He actually has something going on Valentine's Day, and I guarantee you he's probably going to pull that out, <laughs> play it on Valentine's Day in Texas. All right, speaking of cute animals, the Westminster Dog Show crowned a new winner. All right, top spot. Went two. Did you see it? Huge poodle. Seba. Seba. Look at Look at <laughs> Lobo is killing me right now. That's so I just so need great. to take a minute. <laughs> I was not prepared. Can I just say what was... other people of like minds of myself are thinking? What did you do to that dog? That's <laughs> insane and amazing. Go for the gold, Seba. Go. Oh, my Okay, there's also a golden retriever named Daniel that was a crowd favorite. But Seba came out on top. The Golden did end up winning first in the sporting group. Yeah, he looked real pretty. By the way, this is the 144th Westminster Dog Show. All right, for those that weren't up at the top of the Today Show uh, in the 7 o'clock hour, Hoda was pretty funny. She goes, well, Seba's here, and she's in hair and makeup. I'm not sure if she's going to make slot. You know, true, true. a lot of hair, a lot of stuff that had to go on for that dog. Anyway, Can I just amazing. tell you, my dog um, has a lot of fur, like a lot of fuzz. Really? Yeah, he reminds me of, like, more mm -hmm. You would think. Do we have a picture of our dog? Yeah. Okay, he's real fuzzy. It doesn't strike me as very furry. He's real fuzzy. No. Look at you with your cat. That's how I hang out. That is when how I you leave hang out. here. That's I go put that makeup on. Saturdays, she goes to a farmers market looking like that. That's it. So Cody, <laughs> I want Cody to make me feel like I'm part of his species. So I put on the cat makeup and just hang out. And he just looks at you like, what is happening? Yeah, I can't, just seeing all the fur that's attached to Seba makes me have heart palpitations. I can't even fathom, like, going in and brushing that dog. I can't brush my kid's hair, oh, let alone the dog. That's a, it's a whole thing. That's a labor that's of a love. That's a commitment. Labor of right love. There. Speaking of kids, somebody has a new one. Congratulations to Thomas Rhett and his beautiful wife, Lauren, this morning. They welcomed their third baby girl into the world yesterday. Oh, the sweetest little oh my angel. Word. Oh, my goodness. Yesterday? I think it was just Yesterday. Maybe it was the day this before. baby looks like three months old. Uh, so she was nine pounds. Well, there you go. I know. February wow. 10th. Okay, so it's Monday. Oh my goodness. Isn't That's she cute? so alert? This is Lynn in love. So I, sweet. I'm already in love. She mm. is so cute. Look at all that hair. Look at that. I love it. So her sisters are already absolutely head over heels in love with her. Look at this. This came from the Instagram page. Okay, could that be the sweetest picture you've ever seen? Her sisters couldn't love... be happier to kiss her little face. Oh, I love those little moments when siblings just share the love. Willa Gray, Ada James, and Lennon Love. That's so sweet. Thomas Rhett, you need to get I on the road. Re I need to remember that that <laughs> happened in my house. You that know? they were sweet to each other? Well, you know, because now it's like, stop doing that. 
Yeah, they're screaming at each other. <laughs> well, that's coming. That. That's coming. Enjoy that moment because I'm like oh, I remember that sweet moment later, we had. Does that happen? Forward to today. So funny. All right, so the Oscars are uh, done and gone, right? Right. I don't know how I miss this because I, I do scan a bunch of stuff every right. single morning. But Jerry from the Netflix documentary Cheer was on the red carpet for the Ellen Show, and it sort of made my life so complete. Okay, so let's break this Set down for the a scene. second. If you haven't watched this show on Netflix, record us, pause us, and then go watch it and come back. Because let me just tell you, it's the most amazing thing. I know I'm biased. I was a cheerleader. You loved it too, though. Yeah, I wouldn't call so, it the most amazing thing. But, I loved it. Because uh, like, I didn't live in that cheer universe, but I did, I did find it incredibly watchable. And my family said, we're going to watch it. Right. Are we watching it tonight? Are we going to watch? So we did, yes. you know, do nights of it and enjoyed it and loved it. Let me just say, Jerry Harris is one of the standout stars. And I fell in love with him, but it turns out celebrities are obsessed about the show and Jerry as well. Take a look. Jerry! Jerry! Jerry, this is what I want to say to you. You got this! Yes! You can do this, yes! Jerry! Oh my god, oh my god, I fell in love with you. Oh I just saw the whole show. I'm Jerry from Cheer on Netflix. Oh, I know! Oh my god, it's you! How are you? You look fantastic. You are such an inspiration. Thank Your story. So oh my word. Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt? Oh, truly, this red carpet video is incredible. It is every big star loving on Jerry. And you know what? He should. Um, I, I won't tell you his yeah. backstory, but he's it's gone amazing. through a lot in his life. Yeah. And um, his time in in being part of that cheer team, yeah. now being on cheer has really catapulted it. Your hair looks great. I had to, yeah, I was, it looks it was good. pushing out. It looks good. Putting it to the next <laughs> But here's, here's the real, real. Like, Jerry's Matt talk gets you so pumped up. So, okay, hold on, pause. Yeah. Matt talk. So that's right. pumping, you're on the edge of the mat, and you're pumping up the others yes. who are on the mat. Come on, you can do this, you got this, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, get up there, Matt let's talk. go. So that's Matt talk, and he is king. Like, he so really good. Is. He really is great at that. Right. Okay, if you were a kid in the 90s, then you know what's playing right now. I was not a kid in the 90s, so I had to take a second. I remember this. Listen, I had Tiger Beat Magazine what with John Stamos on the cover. Oh, before same. all of that. And Uncle he, Jesse. He looks the same today. He really does. As he does from that cover when I was just a kid. He really does. <laughs> so crazy. Anyway, so the home of Full House has been on the market. I didn't realize this. I remember hearing about the Brady House, but I didn't know the Full House home was on yes. the market. Yes, okay. It's, it's a little spendy. San Francisco. Uh, it was listed 5.9 million, but there were no takers. Now it's back on the market for a half million less. All right, so straight Which five. makes it totally straight doable. Five. Well, San Francisco is like another universe when you it start really talking is. about that stuff. I drove past this when I was there a couple years ago and took a picture of it. Did Not you? the same. Not yeah. the same. Like, you know, seeing it, of course, in the open and, and knowing that that's what it was. And then you drive by and you almost go, oh, yeah. Looks just like the house next to it. Looks just like the house That's next to it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, so the creator of Full House, Jeff Franklin, brought that bought the house in 2016, oh. fixed it up. Ooh, that is I do ooh. love the inside. Wow. Okay. Big fan. I see you. Yeah, What's gone. The Tanners moved out. Tanners are gone, friends. The creator took his syndication money and plunked it right into some nice furniture. I'm just saying. Design. I really anyway. love it now. Gosh, I love looking at other people's homes. Me too. Me it's too. Like real Real fun. Mm -hmm. If you're super famous and your house goes on the market, I'm flipping through those pics. Oh, well, uh, I know you got some set. good looking pictures. Yes, okay. I, I will fill you in uh, tomorrow on a house I got to visit that I was very pumped about. That's a country star. Yes. Ooh. So we'll give you all the what details later. What a tease, later. Kel. All right. Okay. Now's a good time to pause and ask a very important question. What are we mm. eating slash drinking? Oh, beautiful drinks today, and I'm feeling the Valentine's Day love. Ooh. Guys, this is from Luke Bryant's place, right? Oh, 32 Bridge Bar. So fun. This is a berry cobbler. Kelly, it's got rum chata in Done. it. Done. Rum chata, raspberry liqueur, cranberry, mm. some lime. Doesn't that look amazing? It's real good. It could. You need to take a little sip of that. Look like a smoothie. This one is mm. unmistakably a Cosmo. 
So Luke's 32 Bridge, these are special on the Valentine's menu. I'm I really, really like that one. This. I love rum chata. Let me just say, rum chata is Ooh. its own little special group of, of lovely in my house. There's a whole bottle. No, it's not whole anymore, but there's a bottle. <laughs> there was a whole bottle. There was a whole bottle of rum chata. Then Kelly came <laughs> home from work, threw a few berries in, hit the blender. And now Cheers. It's down your gullet. Anyway. She's writing that Song today. Don't take that, songwriters. Don't take that. She's writing that today.